When you ask people in the U.S. what do you think of Palestinians, the first word that comes out is terrorist and violent. And this is an affiliation that people make there uh, through their media. We were 98% as Christians in Bethlehem. 98%, imagine. Today, we are less than 20%. Is it only because of the radicals here and there, or it is from the conflict and the war? Christians depend on tourism. And when, when there is a political situation, a bad political situation, the tourists don't come, and so many families leave because of that. There is a big difference between whoever lives inside the wall and outside the wall. It's built in a way that actually segregates people from the land, and that's why it's called even a segregation wall, not just a separation wall. When they started building the separation wall, the ICC, the International uh, Criminal Court, came out and blatantly said, like, this is illegal, you know, and then they just you know, slap Israel on the, on the hand, you know. That's what it always gets, just a slap on the wrist. Technically, if you want to build a wall to protect yourself, why not build it on the borders of your community? Why do you have to come all the way in, take all the screen space, all the screen area, exclude the original inhabitants from access to this land under pretext of security? So we are the one, unfortunately, who live inside the wall. Unfortunately, that's the reality that exists right now. But this is also a reality that challenges the old identity, the original identity of Bethlehem and Jerusalem, for example, where they were never separated as cities. There were never borders between Bethlehem and Jerusalem as the two holiest places in this land. I would like to see my grandchildren, and I like to see my everybody's grandchildren to live in a peaceful setting. The alliance between Israel and the U.S. is the biggest and most powerful alliance. I am not treated and respected as an American in this land. This situation that we are in is not okay. So if I'm gonna go sit with an Israeli and talk to an Israeli, then it means that I'm okay with the, the current status quo, and I'm not.